our first King's Red Metallic 2025 Jetta 1.5T SE facelift is here at Volkswagen Brandon and I gotta show off this beautiful spec with this beautiful paint. So with no further ado, let's see what this thing is all about for the 2025 model year. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where it just must be my lucky day because I am matching this beautiful King's Red Metallic 2025 Jetta 1.5 TSE. Now, oddly enough, this is our first one in this color on the channel for the 2025 model year as we don't get them too often and normally once we get them they're gone so with that said i got a hold of one finally for you guys to show it off on the channel i'm going to show you guys why these don't stay on a lot too long let's get right to it big shout out to volkswagen brandon for letting me take a spin around this 1.5 tse and king's red metallic now if you guys want this model or any other model they have here on the lineup make sure you guys check the link in the description for the link to their website their phone number give them a call get one of these beautiful cars in your driveway today now when we talk about the performance for the 1.5 tse for the 2025 model year well we got the same love that we're used to for the jetta front engine front wheel drive with the four-door sedan having a turbocharged and intercooled DOHC 16 valve in line four with aluminum block and head and direct fuel injection. Now you have 158 horsepower, 184 pound feet of torque with this eight speed transmission. And that's going to give you a zero to 60 time in 7.1 seconds, with a quarter mile time in 15.5 seconds and a top speed at 126 miles per hour. Now, when you mention those dimensions, you're looking at a total wheelbase of 105.7 inches. You have a length at 186.5 inches, a width a 70.8 inches and an overall height of 57.7 inches with a total curb weight of 3,100 pounds. Now, yes, finally, we got King's Red Metallic on the channel. I'm sorry it took so long. Again, these don't stay on a lot long at all once they do come in when it comes to the new refresh Jetta because it looks so clean. I mean, who wouldn't want this? This is definitely one of the better looking Jetta specs when it comes to the new model year. So with that said, check out the metallic red paint for the sun always doing me a service thank you so much you also have the redesigned front fascia as you guys know for the 2025 model year so you have the led light bar with the new refresh headlights going seamlessly right into the chrome right here in front of the grill coming from one end to the next seamlessly flowing between the volkswagen logo with the new grill setup fox on this side functional on this side now you will also see that we do have that kind of diamond pattern right here on the lower half with the aluminum front lip all right, in the SE model. Now, with that said, you also will see the side blades will show off that same moniker when it comes to the aluminum side blade right there with the functional. Yeah, that's actually functional. Let's see if we can see it a little bit better on this side with that air vent there, all right? But you can barely see it, it is functional there, so you guys will actually get some airflow there. Beautiful headlights, as I briefly mentioned, that we will see illuminated very shortly, looking gorgeous with the redesign. The front fascia is just so handsome when it comes to the 1.5 T Jetta. And now we're looking at it in King's Red Metallic. Now with the 1.5 T SE, those wheels are gonna stand out. 17 inches, bicolor finish with the Volkswagen logo to match right front and center. Now you guys will also see that King's Red Metallic all throughout the side, the mirror caps, the door handles, side skirt, everything is matched up with the chrome underneath the window moldings. All right, then the B pillar and C pillar in black with the top done in black as well and then you guys might notice a glass roof because we do have a big sunroof right up top as well with a black shark fin antenna tying it all together this is a cool spec this is one that's definitely going to get people's attention now for the rear this is our first time seeing the new light bar integrated with red exterior paint so you have red on red and essentially here for the dark red on the light bar the new setup against the metallic red looking really cool actually i like it with the chrome and black you have the chrome for the lettering right here in the center of that light bar and then you're going right across we will see this illuminated shortly so you guys can see how it all looks together but it looks really good with the se badging right there as well rear diffuser done in the cladding and then we got a break between that get back for our king's red metallic and then we're back to that cladding again to help protect the lower half of the paint with the reflectors here as well again just giving it an overall sportier but smooth and simple feel when it comes to the rear of the 1.5 t a massive 14 cubic feet of space back here yeah it's pretty deep right and then we have a 40 60 split when it comes to those seats as you guys will see how they fold down we do have our seat toggles right up top here as well all right a couple of indentations on the back here so you guys can kind of stow some things on the side here as well and then we're to lift up we do have a false floor 
and a false floor, we'll have our spare tire and our tools to get us back on the road as quickly and as safely as possible, giving this a very good practical score when it comes to the rear cargo of the 1.5T. Now we have great fuel economy at 33, 29, 40. That means 33 combined city and highway, 29 for the city, but 40 for the highway and regular fuel can go inside of this Jetta 1.5T. Now as promised, I want to show you guys the beautiful lighting units when it came to the new refresh setup for the 2025 Jetta. And as you guys will see, beautiful LED running lights, switchback turn signal there. We have our headlamps and we also have our high beams there illuminated as well. Everything fresh for you guys. It looks really good again, seamlessly going into that chrome uh, front piece. Now you guys will also see that in the rear, to have the beautiful lighting as well with the new tail lamp bar going across. You know, it's a little bit harder to see in the sun, but you guys will see where it kind of connects right here to the lettering and then continues on on the other end. What do you guys think when it comes to illumination? Now let's hop inside because we have about 53 cubic feet of space inside of this Grigio and Titan Black interior. Actually, before we hop in, let's talk about an important element, the key fob. As you guys will see, Volkswagen logo up top, panic button on the side, physical key button here just in case the uh, battery dies. And then we also have lock, unlock, truck release, and remote start. Now let's hop inside that Grigio and black interior because as you guys can see, it's looking really premium when it comes to this model. Check that out. Perforated leather, Grigio and gray, black, white stitching, looking beautiful. Monster mats with the Jetta logo there. The door cards say a lot of what we have here today. So we do have that silver trim there, aluminum door handle. We also have soft touches in Grigio on the door cards, soft touches on the armrest, white stitching as well. Our controls, truck release, speaker grill, and storage right here at the bottom. Now, hopping inside, you guys will see that we do have a lot of natural light on us because we do have a sunroof here with a shade just in case we don't want any of that natural light. And then we close this up. We got a beautiful flat bottom steering wheel here. All right, we have the digital instrument cluster, eight inch touchscreen standard across all models and Climatronic HVAC system standard across all models with the new dash layout redesign standard across all models. Now with the telescopic steering wheel here, you can move forward, backwards, down and up. You do have controls on the back, driver assistance with your lighting controls and you have your windshield washer controls here as well and then you have on the left hand side volume controls driver assistance controls here and then on the right hand side change the radio stations hands-free controls or you can change the view of your digital instrumentation depending on what information you want on each side you can press left and right and then up and down to go between that information and select it so you can do it for both sides just depending on what you would like you also have on the left hand side your light controls there, all right. You also have the new dash layout with the three bar setup. So you guys will see three bars going across for the HVAC, gloss black backing, and then that Grigio soft touch right there as well. Nice on the dash for the tops, flat bottom here, stitching as well, and then that three bar setup. Again, when it comes to the HVAC with the gloss black surround, Grigio insert across the dash, looking beautiful, and it's very soft. You also have the glove box here as well. And then we come down to the center here where you guys will see our hazard buttons, HVAC vents, the new climbing training system, standard. All right, again, standard. It used to come on the SELs. Now it's standard across the board for the 2025 Volkswagen Jetta models. You have heated seat controls for the dual zone climates. You also have right here, extra stowage. You have USB-C plugins, 12 volt start stop button. Nice shift boot here, all right, with the stitching there as well. We can go to a manual mode that way or automatic manual mode, neutral, reverse, and then park. Then you also have your electric parking brake, start stop button, and your eco driving mode. Cup holders here, phone holder. I like to call it a phone holder. You can put your key fob there too. And then soft touches for the leather armrest with the white stitching there as well. And then extra stowage with the USB C plug in there too. Now, the 8 inch touchscreen. You guys know the system for a long time here. It's been a great system, obviously. Volkswagen doesn't want to change much because really, you can't really change perfection here. I mean, listen. It is so intuitive, it is so responsive, and it is so clean to the point, I mean, really, it's easy to use while on the drive. And again, that's important because you want to make sure that you're safe while using all of these things. And the easier they make this to use, the easier it is to be driving around with it. Now, look up top, we have extra storage there. 
Taco holder, not a taco holder. <laughs> you can put your sunglass cases or your glasses cases there. Um, you also have your controls for your glass sunroof and your SOS and everything there. Settings, dome light, flood light, and then visor with a mirror and a light there. All great things in this King's Red 1.5 TSE. Now let's hop in the rear because we have about 43 cubic feet of space with the same Titan black and Grigio interior. As you guys will see, perforated leather and a white stitching all throughout. Looking cool with the two-tone finish with the black center. All right, hop inside. We do have our cargo mats to protect our carpet. We do have storage right here on the passenger side. Nice armrests here, all right, with cup holders. And then if you look over here, in our door panel, you'll see our door cards done in Grigio, with a soft touch on the armrest here. And then you have your window controls and an aluminum door handle, speaker grill, extra storage right there as well. And then look up top, we got a little bit of that natural light from the sunroof there. Overall, tons of knee wiggle room, comfortable space to be in. Now let's break down the sticker of the 2025 Jetta 1.5 TSE in King's Red Metallic with Grigio and Black Leather at interior, HP Automatic with Tiptronic on the transmission. So we start life at $24,975 and after a couple additional options and our 1225 destination charge, we're looking at a total price of $28,363. How do we get there? Well, check it out. Our King's Red Metallic paint is actually $455. Then our Grigio and Black Leather Red interior is free, no charge. Now you also have the power tilting and uh, sliding sunroof, $750. We also have the auto, auto dimming review mirror with home link, that's $405. The monster mats with $296 on that. And the BW Care prepaid schedule maintenance contract, $215 with that. And the first aid roadside, uh, roadside assistance kit, $42 for that. Other than that, everything else is standard. Performance, exterior, interior, safety and driver assistance, and technology and convenience. I wanna make sure you guys pause it, zoom in, slow it down, whatever you guys need to do to see, or check the link in the description for the full details on the sticker breakdown as well, with the warranty information being 4 years, 50,000 miles. Let me know what you guys think though about the 2025 Jetta 1.5 TSE. So at $28,363, what are you guys feeling about this King's Red Metallic on the 1.5 TSE with the facelift? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, but also make sure you guys check the link in the description for the website link for the inventory and give them a call. The phone number's there as well. Get one of these beautiful cars from Volkswagen Brandon today. Now, subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.